So whenever I perform a simple experimental investigation, I change one thing, I measure one thing, and I keep everything else the same. Earlier, I performed an investigation using this sled, this spring scale, and three different masses. So here's your question. What was this investigation designed to determine? Take a minute, discuss that with your classmates, then I'll be back to talk about the answer. In a simple experimental investigation, I change one thing. That's the independent variable. And in this investigation, the one thing I changed was the amount of mass that was on the sled. I also measure one thing. And in this investigation, I used a spring scale. And spring scales measure force. So I was measuring the amount of force needed to pull each mass across the surface. Everything else in this investigation was kept the same. They were constants. So I used the same sled the same spring scale, the same surface, and I also pulled each mass across the surface in the same basic way. So if I want to figure out what this investigation was designed to determine, all I have to do is look at what was changed and what was measured. I changed the amount of mass that was being pulled, and I measured the amount of force needed to pull each mass. So. This investigation must have been designed to determine how mass affects the amount of force needed to move the objects. I'm sure that's what you and your classmates came up with, so keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.